Check out the link in the description for your chance to get a level 100 Dialga Repulkia with a golden bottle cap. What is going on internet? It is Gazzy here, and today I have another TCG box opening for you guys. Today we have the Mega Beedrill EX box. So, without any further ado, let's get into this. Let's just take a moment to look at this box. Because this thing was so big, I actually had a lot of trouble getting it in frame for this shot. So included in this box, we have a Mega Beedrill pin, the jumbo card in the back there, a never before seen Beedrill EX as well as a Be Mega Beedrill EX, a Mega Beedrill coin, and one, two, three, four, five, six TCG booster packs. Here's a look at the Jumbo Mega Beedrill EX card. One thing that I find pretty cool about the uh, Mega cards is this Japanese writing right here. In the Japanese sets, that writing's actually in English, which is uh, kind of cool if you ask me. Here's a better look at the pin and the coin. Mega Beedrill, even though it's not super great in battle, its design looks incredible. Here's a better look at the Beedrill EX. Pop that guy into a sleeve. There we go. And the regular Mega Beedrill. also into a sleeve. So there was also a Beedrill Spirit Link card hidden away in the back of the box. So that's actually very convenient for if I was going to use these in a deck or something. As for the six packs that came in the box, we have two Breakthroughs, two Fates Collides, and two Steam Siege. So let's go ahead and start off with these XY breakthroughs right here. Okay, I have no idea what the card trick is for breakthrough. So one, two, three to the front for kind of prey. And we have a Professor's Letter, a Spupa, Houndoom Spirit Link. Skeeto, Skidoo, it's Skidoo, why did I say Skeeto? Zorua, with a pink ribbon for some reason. Vanillite, Flebebe, another Zorua with a different art, that's interesting. Reverse Hollow Mr. Mime, and the last one is Lunala. That's pretty cool, it's not hollow though. Okay, moving on. We got another breakthrough. One, two, three, to the front. And let's see, we got Sarivia, Frogadier, Swoobat, Pancham, Inke, Swanub, Starly, Fennekin, Reverse Hollow Cubone, and the last card is a Noivern, also not Hollow. So not, not th nothing super amazing out of the Breakthrough packs, but let's see what we get out of the Fates Collide packs. First Fates Collide coming right up. I believe this is also three to the front. And we have a Brakeson, Whimsicott, Fairy Garden, Seal. I've actually never seen that art before. Larvitar, Vullaby, Burmy, Coughing. Yo, Reverse Hollow Aerodactyl actually a really cool looking card. 
And the last one is... Another Aerodactyl. Non-hollow. That's interesting, I guess. Getting two pretty cool looking Aerodactyls in the same pack. Moving on to the second Fates Collide. How do you even open a pack like that? Like, what has to go wrong for that to happen? So, speaking of things going wrong, guys, I don't know how I did this, but right after I said that, I somehow ended my recording and opened up my last three packs without even realizing it. So, I'm just gonna continue like I never saw the cards, and you're all gonna play along, okay? Got it? Good. Now, let's keep going. So, back to where we were with our Fates Collide pack. One, two, three, to the front. And we have the Chaos Tower, which is a very weird card that I've never heard of before. Focus. There we are. I almost had it. Choose which way this card faces before you play it. This player, I'm assuming the player that this end of the card is facing, their Pokemon cannot be asleep or paralyzed. Or as the other side, that player's Pokemon cannot be confused or poisoned. Very interesting card concept that I've, I've actually never heard of this card. My original reaction was a lot more confused, but you guys can just imagine what that was like. And moving on, we have an Altaria Spirit Link. Team Rocket's handiwork. We got three training cards in a row. A Riolu. Jigglypuff. Meowth. Binnacle. A Snubble. Reverse Hollow Jigglypuff. And the Motham. Not hollow. Moving on to our first Steam Siege pack. One, two, three to the front. We have a Kling. I butchered that, so we're going to put those in the back. Rapidash. Persian. Shield on. Oshawott. A Niran male. Fungus, a Mankey, Reverse Hollow Sea Dot, and a Nido King. Not too bad. And now we move on to our second Seam Siege pack. One, two, three to the back again. And we have Steelix Spirit Link, a Nuzleaf, Braviary, Mantine. Sneasel with the attack Neon Roll. Last I heard, Sneasel's not a cat. Sneasel's some sort of weasel. Hence the name Sneasel. We have a Hoppip, a Fletchling, Clauncher, a Reverse Hollow Hydreigon. That is not a bad pull, guys. That is not a bad pull at all. Getting a Reverse Hollow Rare card. And for our last card, it is... A Dual-Type Galvantula. Okay, guys, so these were our better pulls for today. Didn't get anything incredibly amazing, like a full art or anything. But, 
Nevertheless, if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, guys, peace out, Bell Sprouts.